Cajun spiced roast chook. Sounds pretty good, doesn't it? And I'm going to show you how easy it is to do in an air fry. It works a treat because of the air boost technology. It's going to be really crispy on all sides. Now, for our Cajun mix, you can absolutely buy a pre-mixed one at your supermarket, but most of these spices you probably already have in your pantry. So to make mine, some allspice and a combination of ground ginger, cayenne and some clove. Cajun spice mix is renowned for having lots of different spices in it. And the next round of spices, some celery salt, smoked paprika and mustard powder. Great. And we'll just give that a bit of a mix. And I'll add a generous pinch of salt. You know, it's a quite a large chicken. This one is 1.2 kilos, so you need a lot of salt to season it up. Now, some oil, extra virgin olive oil. I'll drizzle this over our chook. It's really important when you're cooking a whole roast chook to bring it out of the fridge at least 45 minutes before cooking it. You don't want it to be too cold as it goes into the air fryer because it won't cook evenly. So after we've placed that oil on, you want to give it a really good massage on all sides. And I want to do this so that Cajun spice sticks to all of the chicken skin. So I'm going to use about three quarters of this Cajun spice to rub all over our chook. And then the rest of it we're gonna add later. So we get two layers of this Cajun spice. And you can use your hands just to rub it in, just to really get it in all spots of the chicken. You can imagine how intense the flavor is going to be on this chook. All right, that's looking good. Now to add to our air fryer. So I'm just going to remove the basket that comes with this. This is great when you want to make donuts or chippies, but to cook a whole roast chook, we want it in the external basket. So I'm going to release this detachable handle, pop that to one side and clip it back on. And before we add the chook, let's add some herbs. So some fresh bay leaves, a nice generous amount, say four or five, we'll just scatter them into the basket and rosemary. So I'm just gonna take the leaves off. Excellent. Now to ensure that our chook doesn't dry out, I love the addition of beer. You could use wine if you like or just leave it out completely. But the beer, after it cooks off, gives the chicken a really nice flavor. So in with the beer and the chook can go in. So I'm gonna cook this in two stages. First for 20 minutes, breast side down, and then I'm gonna turn it and cook it for another 45 minutes. So in with our chook, and you can see how large this basket is. So a whole chicken can go in, and we'll place the basket in. We'll set this to the chicken mode. It's already pre-functioned, so it's at 180 degrees for 20 minutes. Press start. And that's it, we'll wait for that timer to go off before I turn it and cook it for a further 45 minutes with the rest of this Cajun mix. Chicken is cooked, it smells fantastic. Oh, and it looks even better. Look at that beautiful crust that's formed. Now I'm gonna take the chicken out of the external basket very carefully. We'll pop it onto the plate. Now this chook does need to rest for 20 minutes. We don't want all the juices to run out of it. So resting is crucial and I promise it will hold its residual heat. In that time, I can cook some vegetables. So in true Cajun form, some corn and baby potatoes. I'm gonna add them to all those pan juices. And I like to add just a splash of water too and give it a good jiggle in the remaining Cajun spices that are in the tray. So quick jiggle and you can mix it up. It's great. And about a tablespoon of water. Perfect. Okay, and there you go. Okay, the potatoes and corn are cooked. We can take them out. Look at that. 
golden, just perfect. And I like to present this Cajun chicken at the table. So a nice big plate just like this and pop the veggies around the chook. Look at that potato. So perfect. It's incredible how such a small appliance like this can have so much power to cook a whole chicken and its roast veggies. A few more potatoes. You can never have enough potatoes, I say. And for a pop of colour, because we did use rosemary in the recipe, I'm going to add two sprigs of fresh rosemary just on the side here. That is a dish to celebrate, super easy to do, and the smell. Oh, I wish you were here to smell my roasted Cajun chicken.